So I think regardless of your political views, it's clear, uh, I think, which party is going to get into government. And I'm going to talk about the priorities I think they should have, but I'll also talk about some of the things the parties are going to debate as they're in the run-up to the election. The first of these is obvious, it's Brexit. Brexit is absolutely critical to the future prosperity of this country. And I think currently we're talking about the politics of Brexit and not enough about the impact of Brexit on specific firms. And if the negotiations do not go well, or the wrong negotiation outcomes are achieved, then small firms could go to the wall, they could close down. Large firms could move functions offshore and out of this country uh, to other parts of the world and will lose investment and jobs. The second crucial priority is to do with regional devolution. The government in power really needs to take devolution seriously. We have a massive imbalance in investment in London and the South East. And at the moment, we're not looking for subsidies, but we're looking for real investment to grow the economies of the city regions of the UK. In turn, that will alleviate some of the social and the political problems that we've got that stem from the imbalance of where wealth that is created in this country is distributed. And then thirdly, I really believe that the government in power has an opportunity with a concentration of that power in one party to stick with consistent long-term policies. We are rolled in at the moment into a, a really fragmented series of glory projects, ribbon cutting, that actually do not lend consistency to how the economy is shaped. And this government will have an opportunity to think long term about industrial strategies and other policies and be consistent and apply those policies to help the nation move forward.